Hey there, Starlings. Welcome to my sector of the universe. This is Jasmine Capella Wellness here to help you step into your truth and star into your power. For those of you who've never been here before, welcome. Thank you so very much for being here for the first time. I'm glad you're here. You came to the right place. <laughs> for those of you who are returning, thanks for coming back to watch another night of my readings. If whatever the hell I just said. Um, all right, guys. Happy November. We are doing November readings now. <laughs> it's crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, so, guys, what we're going to do here is we're going to see what guidance we have for this week, the week of November 5th, 2023. We're going to get a um, an autumn oracle card to see um, how we're going to best navigate these energies, what the affirmation for the week is if i can shuffle these cards because they're pretty big and my hands are tiny you can make as many jokes with that as you want yes it's going to look bigger because of my tiny hands ha 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 uh, <laughs> um we're gonna get an affirmation and we're also going to get your wellness tip for the week to help you Make sure that you raise your vibration, keep it in a, in a high vibrational state, that type of thing, all right? Um, so, Holy Spirit, Archangels, Galactic Families, Pleading Syrians, Jesus, Mary, Magdalene, and Mary, please reveal to us for our highest good. What guidance do we need to hear for the collective? What does the collective need to hear as opposed to the, what they want to hear? Okay, it's what they wanted me to say. All right, Holy Spirit. Archangels, Galactic Families, Queen Sirius, Jesus, Mary, Magdalene, Mary, please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Um, if you are new and you would like to learn anything about me, my services, I do coaching. I have a lot of different personal readings. I compartmentalize them to really help you with your work. I have tarot packages that save you money if you want to book readings or multiple coaching sessions. All that good stuff you want to download my free mobile app to get free readings and stuff or, you know, chat with me or whatever. Check out the description box for all that good stuff. We have water and air. We have feminine and masculine energy. We have the nine of water, the nine of cups, and the message of air. We have the, this is the knight of swords in this deck, okay? It says messenger, guys, but this is the good tarot by Colette Baron Reed. Look, I love these colors. These are like my favorite colors. All nice and blue and greenish. Anyway, this is the Knight of Air, not the Page of Air. This is the Knight of Swords, all right? So we have Knight of Cups, Knight of Swords here for the energies, the guidance for this week with the overall of the Two of Earth, the Two of Pentacles, all right? So here we go. Um, here's the first thing. I got right off the bat. If you have been really trying to maintain your finances, uh, you have money coming in, money going out. It's like you have a good week, you have a good month. So, oh, I have this extra money. Then all of a sudden you have to spend some extra money, you know, for good reasons. Um, it seems like you're able to manage this. This two of pentacles is the overall is some of you are able to do little, to do a lot with little money. All right. You know how to prioritize things. You know that food's important, gas important, gas is important. Your self care is important, right? Like treating yourself is important too, right? Because when you don't spend that hard earned money on yourself, you're actually blocking the abundance. You have to be able to tell the God, the universe, that while you do have bills to pay and food to to purchase and gas to get that type of thing, He wants you to just not focus on those the three D world type of stuff. Uh, you are able to balance out that type of energy because you're realizing some of you money is energy. And while you are, you know, treating yourself and spending stuff on you like every now and again, but not like overdoing it, right? Because the two of pentacles can be where you just take the, the, the debit card, the credit card, and you just throw everything at it, right? That's, that's you know, uh, a shadow side to that, which needs to be mitigated. But some of you are seeing, okay, you know, I have some money here, have some money there. Okay, well, I don't may not have that much this week or this month, but I know I can get this and I can get that. I can still get something, you know, maybe for the kids or something for myself. And you're able to manage that. So for some of you, this could very well be a karmic thing or a lesson that God wanted you to learn where, you know, 
you can get by with little and you can, you know, make smart moves about things. Uh, and you also don't get concerned about your finances, which is why some of you are able to balance that out and say, okay, you know what? I, I got to get myself in a, in a very balanced state. I'm, you know, that's redundant, but I got to get myself in some sort of equilibrium. That's what I want to say. And make sure that everything is copacetic in my life, my health, my relationships, the work that I do, right? It's you make decisions based off of what's going to bring you happiness, and what's going to bring you peace. And this ties also into money, right? What is it that's going to bring you peace? What's going to bring you joy? What is it that's going to bring balance into your life? What is it that is it's, it's prioritizing what is really of value in your life? What is really important? All right. So there's a balancing act for some of you. Um, there is... Uh, some of you have been able to work through this, meaning you're already incorporating this into your life. All right. And God is seeing this. So he's understanding that while you have a lot of things to juggle, you're able to juggle them in a way that doesn't disrupt your life, where you don't put yourself in the back burner because you are first and foremost you need to take care of yourself first before anybody else. That's an act of healthy selfishness. A lot of people, especially women, aren't programmed that way. And we get judged for doing that. That is not just. Okay? That is not right. God wants us to take care of ourselves first because when we're prioritizing ourselves first, we're prioritizing God. Because God created us. He gave us the vessel He's expecting us to be responsible for taking care of that, all right? So some of you have realized this and you're making sure where, okay, what am I going to do? What decision am I going to make? Like for me, I'll give an example. Some of you who are my, um, my Capella members or those of you who are free members on my app or I post stuff on the Capella Crew Forum about, you know, some of my life's experiences. Like I posted quite a few things to, uh, on Sunday um, one about me getting hit by multiple sprinklers during my meditation. I posted that on the Capella Crew Forum on my free uh, mobile app. If you're curious to read that story and what the lesson in that was. But lately, I've been having a lot of interruptions, disruptions, a lot of unplanned events happening. A lot of things like, okay, I'm going to go do this. And nope, I have to do that. Nope, this comes out of the window. Oh, I have to go here. Oh, I have to do that. I'm like, holy crap, man. And it's been nonstop. Okay. I still say, like, one thing I was planning to go do a walk, and then I had to go do something for the family, right? That was unexpected. And I said, okay, I'm not going to let that throw me off. I'm going to make sure I still do my walk and I still do my grounding by the lake and put my feet on the grass, okay? Balancing things out. And I also wanted to do a whole bunch of other things because I'm doing a lot of new things for my channel. Um, I'm, I'm trying to do these other things for my, my services, my website, all this types of, all these types of things. And I've got all these great ideas. I'm like, God, why is it I'm not be able to tap into that or start doing those things? But he has his reasons, but God's also like, I need you to make sure while you have all these things. And sometimes Archangel Michael comes in to disrupt our plans, guys to get us to slow down. And sometimes even if you're slowing down, even if you're balancing out your life pretty well, Archangel Michael will still come in and say, no, 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 you got to go at a much slower pace. I need you to do way less than what you were doing before, right? And still balance those things out. But every time, even though, especially on Sunday or like every day almost, stuff doesn't go according to plan and God's like, how are you going to work this situation out? But I always make sure I got to do my walk. I got to do some grounding. Even though my grounding part on the grass got interrupted by those sprinklers, at least I did something. I walked for an hour, put my feet on the grass, sat by the lake, was listening to this amazing song by Dream Theater, and then it's, I'm doing my thing. I need to take care of me. And then I had to put some things on, on the back burner, right? Stuff that I wanted to do for my channel, my business, all those things. But I need to take care of me too. I can't not tell myself, oh, I have to do all these things. There's all these these, these, these priorities that I have just gets put on the back burner. No, I've learned a lot about making sure 
that just is taken care of, okay? So for some of you, you're learning how to do this. Others of you, you've got this down pat. Now, if you have this balancing act down to a T, you're following your happiness, nine of cups, you're seeking out your own treasures, but it has nothing to do with money. You're doing the things that make you happy. You're not purchasing things to feel better. You're not going outside of a budget. You're not, you know, you're not going to all these material things because there is some of you, there's shiny object syndrome. Even though this is not the seven of cups, guys, I feel it. Okay. Something about managing your finances better, watching the budget type of thing and saying, okay, is this money that I'm paying for, is it for my highest good? Is it for my happiness, satisfaction? Is it really going to make me content or is it going to be instant gratification and then you have buyer's remorse, right? The nine of water is about finding happiness in non-material things, guys. This is one thing that I had to learn the hard way, okay? But as I said, it doesn't mean that you do not have the right to purchase material things like, you know, yeah, I like this. This, you know, this is a happy thing. Like you get bubble tea or Starbucks coffee or you buy yourself a, uh, a couple of nice shirts for the fall or something. Or, you know, it's been a while since you got yourself a pair of shoes and you go get a pair of shoes or something like that. Right. But all in moderation. Okay. You don't go out there and be like, blah, 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 blah. Oh, crap. There goes the card maxed out or something, right? Or these are things where they're not tangible and you're doing things to raise your vibration, but you're not purchasing anything for it. Or you could be actually purchasing something, but it's nothing physical, right? Kind of like when you go to counseling, you pay a counselor a fee, right? But are you getting anything tangible from the counselor? No, it's the same thing with tarot readers. You book a reading. Do you get anything physical back? No, you don't. But you're doing something for your wellness, your well-being, your happiness, getting you to a state of greater health type of thing with that water energy cleansing purification, you're investing in things where you're going to have a happier life. You're going to be content even when you have very little money in your bank account. Okay? You're going to start to see the things that are really of value in your life. So there's something for some of you about what are you really investing in this week? Like for me, my priority, I love taking those walks. I love being out by nature and me grounding and listening to music is my nine of water right there. Out of everything in my life, the thing that brings me the most joy is being able to listen to music. And I mean, I listen to so much stuff. It's not even funny. I have a huge affinity for music and I have a very extensive taste. Extensive taste is very eclectic. Okay, why am I hearing Eric Clapton? I'm hearing Eric Clapton's Layla all of a sudden. That's a beautiful song. Let me write that down because now the songs are coming in. Um, Got me on my knees, Layla. Right? Eric Clapton is one of the greatest guitarists of all time. Stratocaster, right? So let me go write that down, guys, because I always put, you know... Um, songs for the week so we got eric Clapton's layla coming in maybe there's something about you you love playing music right it's funny because i've been wanting to play my violin again and it just hasn't been happening and i have to like okay what am i gonna do god if i can't play the violin right now i'm still gonna do my walk and i'm gonna do my grounding and listen to my music right i, I listen to music with everything i'm brushing my teeth i'm taking a shower I'm washing dishes cooking dinner if it's my if i need to cook dinner for the family um making my bed cleaning driving going to the, to the supermarket to do grocery shopping you name it i've got like my airpods in all the time pretty much i even sleep with music sometimes music is everything for me and that gets me to a very high vibrational state now you guys need may you may have something that really brings you to that state of satisfaction and joy remember joy comes from within guys 
You can't find joy outside of yourself. There's no relationship, no job, no, nothing with money, no tangible thing, no, no physical item that's going to bring you happiness. And that's very hard for us to learn, okay? Trust me, I've been there. I used to have this, when my marriage started to fall apart, I started to feel way less of value and I, my self-esteem tanked and, you know, I just wasn't happy. So I went to physical material things, obviously it's material, for, to, to fill my cups up. And that really didn't help either. I wasn't nipping it in the bud. That is the messenger of water. I mean, the messenger, well, Knight of Cups could be coming in here too. This is the Knight of Air, the Knight of Swords. He's nipping it in the bud, right? I had to nip it in the bud. I had to like, because I had an issue, guys. If you, if you haven't heard of my story before, I had a problem because I was seeking gratification and joy outside of myself, but that got me into a hole financially. Right. While I was making a lot of money at the time, you know, I could have been doing other things, being smarter about it. But it's in my birth chart, guys. It was a lesson that I had to learn. Maybe some of you have that in your birth chart. All right. If it's dealing with like some sort of money or there's something else here that you're learning that you need to balance out. So I was like, OK, well, I have this and I have that, but you know, this still doesn't make me happy. It still doesn't make me happy. And then I started to realize, you know, oh my God, me being out in nature, listening to music. And let me tell you, now that I'm not in my nine to five job, I get to listen to music all the fucking time and it's glorious. All right. I have so much peace in my life and it helps me to be in a happy state, right? Things that money can't buy. Okay. This is important here. There's something about you really getting down to the nitty gritty of understanding what really brings you joy. What is it that money can't buy for you? I mean, hold on, hold on, son. Let me think about this. <laughs> what are the things that money can't buy that bring you joy. This is about understanding the thing. That brings you happiness that money can't buy. Okay. This is going to be very important this week for some of you. All right. And that, that knight of swords there, it's like, okay, I need to be laser focused on doing what really gives me that satisfaction, that gratification. And it's not instant gratification, guys. It's not just go, oh, let me go get this. Let me go get that. Let me go buy this. Let me go buy that. And it's like, oh, cool. Right. This is going to make me happy. This tangible thing is going to make you happy. Is it really? Is it really? It's going to be a huge test for some of you this week. You're being asked to really be paying attention to this. What is true happiness for you? And those of you who've learned this, You've been able to get by with little money, right? And even when you have the little money, you're just like, okay, well, I can spend this. I can do this. I'll still donate to people, right? Okay, well, I kind of spent this. I spent that. Okay, I like these things. I'm going to do use these tangible things. But, you know, now I got to save money for this. Or, you know, this is like putting money towards a savings account type of thing. I got to save my money a little bit until either more comes in or, you know, just, you know, just keep it there for a rainy day. But then you, you start prioritizing. Okay. You start deciding now I have to do things that have nothing to do with money. Right. 
going on your walks, watching a movie with a cozy blanket and some hot cacao and uh, not cacao, not that one, it's cacao, okay? There's two different things. <laughs> we have, you know, playing your instrument, like listening to music, whatever, sitting on your back porch and just chilling out. All right. Like today, I also sat out in the back patio in my pa where my parents' pool is and I had a cup of tea. I was listening to Cam White because I was guided to listen to his astrology video. And, you know, and I was just chilling out. I had a, a pumpkin spice candle from Yankee Candle outside and I was smelling that and it was just glorious. And it's been beautiful here lately. It's not hot as balls in Florida anymore, and it's just glorious. I do miss the Maryland autumn uh, season, but hey, you know, I got to make the most of it. And I just sat there, and I loved every minute of it, and it didn't cost me a dime, okay? Some of you, you're being asked to work up to this, okay? It's time for you to start really getting laser-focused, on doing things that bring you that satisfaction and that joy without spending a dime on it. Right? The things, joy, you can't buy happiness, guys. And no tangible thing is going to give you nine of cups. What happens is when you get to that vibration, right? This is self-fulfillment. Even with yourself. That's one person with the nine of water. Self-fulfillment. Self-gratification. A little bit indulging in yourself, in your senses. It's like Venus is going into Libra on Wednesday of this week, right? Venus, uh, she loves being in Libra. She's going to operate at her best in Libra, guys. So this week, when Venus goes into Libra on Wednesday, you're going to be asked to start looking at the things where you can self-indulge in, like two-hour bubble baths, listening to soft guitar music, or, you know, maybe even splurging on yourself on a, on a, on a lobster dinner for you, something like that, okay? Yes, that does deal with money, but again, you're, you're going to ingest the lobster. You're not taking the lobster home with you to just have it on your altar and just, like, just look at it. You see what I'm saying? You're going to be learning to do more of this and focus. The Knight of Swords is focusing, laser focus on understanding what's going to truly bring you satisfaction. Taking yourself on a day trip, okay? You know exactly what you love to do. This is the week to understand what that really is, but understand not just what it really is but doing more of it and you focusing on those things that get you on a high all right that get your gets your vibration through the stratosphere dancing you know um cooking whatever guys you need to do more of that this week so be careful with being tempted because that Knight of Swords is also making impulsive moves. The shadow side of that guy is not thinking straight. Well, it's, just, it's a female in that card. But if you look at her face, she's not really rushing anything, is she? She looks like she's in a state of peace <clears throat> because she's focused on doing the things that bring her joy. Bring her joy. She doesn't need anybody else to come along with her or him. She doesn't need to go buy stuff. She doesn't need to be accompanied by anybody. Maybe just by God and the archangels and the wind and the grass and the lake and the animals. She doesn't need anything physical to be in that state of peace and that state of joy. And she's doing these things to kind of calm herself down if, if her life is like a whirlwind of stuff because that night of air energy is fast movement. It could be scattered energies like you have so many balls in the air, you're dropping them for some of you. you you're putting your hands 
onto too many things. You're, you're having a to-do list that's all full of stuff and you don't have yourself on that to-do list, right? You don't have self-joy and indulging in yourself in a little bit, but where you're not overspending, um, you are reminding yourself, okay, yeah, I spent myself my money on this, but I now I have to start doing these things that really bring us joy. You know, just somebody may have a fall or detriment placement in Libra and somebody here, this is not for everybody, but maybe this week, um, this may be a negative effect on you where you may be tempted to buy these things that are useless buy things that you really don't need that are not for your highest good that have nothing to do with your high vibration that have nothing to do with true joy and true peace all right so for whoever this is be very careful this week with being tempted to kind of prioritize the wrong thing you're putting money towards the thing that's not going to give you the nine of cups you think it is but it's short-lived okay and maybe you might get stuck in something and you're like, shit, I have all this money going towards this when I could have spent this money on my health, on my well-being, or I could have taken myself on a mini trip, or I could have, you know, I don't know, gotten myself a spa day or something. You see what I'm saying? Right? Because even taking yourself on a spa day, you don't get something physically back. I mean, somebody's massaging you. If you get a massage, yeah, that's physical touch. But you get the point, guys. You're smart. So be careful with trying to rush into something for instant gratification because it may come back to you and you may be in a hole, okay? So be careful this week. And, uh, and if it's not, just be very careful with your finances. Be careful also with... People trying to put things on your plate. Are you saying, I have this, this to do, or your plans get disrupted like what's happening to me and you do nothing for yourself? I'm a huge supporter of everyone doing something for themselves every single day. It is important. It is imperative. It is... Um, well, I, there was another word I was going to say. It's imperative that you put yourself first every day. Again, that's not the Ten of Cups. That's the Nine of Cups. You do what makes you happy this week. And it's not going out there and buying all these things to fill a void. Don't do what I did for a while just because I had things falling apart. All right? We all have lessons to learn. Okay? We all do. Yes, you can treat yourself, but don't keep just throwing the card out there and getting tangible things like I don't physical things. Yes, you can get food or whatever that's different, but you know, I think you guys get the point. But those of you who've been able to balance this out, because God wants, he's cross-checking you. Okay, let's see if, if they have very little money, if they're going to be afraid to spend on themselves. You block the abundance by doing that. Okay, they have some money. Let's see if they're going to blow it all. Right? That's a test too. Those of you who've been able to wake this work out, okay, you make it look easy because you know... What to put the money towards where, yeah, nice things. Yeah, like these makes me, gives me joy. But also doing the things that have nothing to do with physical items, have nothing to do with money. You've got a nice balance of those things. And for those of you who have that, there's something coming in real fast. There's a dramatic shift in your life that's about to happen because somebody for this week, your wishes are coming true. Any worries, any struggles that you've been dealing with, they're going to fade. There's something magical happening to somebody this week because you've learned this lesson. Okay? 
you're not going out there getting the next best thing, the shiny object syndrome. And even if you guys are, if, if you're, if you're kind of like, oh shit, man, I just bought this and I just did that and I keep buying this, don't beat yourself up, okay? There's impulsiveness here. There's also something with your air. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I did say there's something that is poorly aspected with you, baby Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, um, or your Venus, right? So, again, don't beat yourself up about that. If you're having, you're misunderstanding what you should be prioritizing. And a lot of you should be prioritizing your self-care. Okay, um, doing things that are going to raise your vibration to the nine of cups where you're emotionally fulfilled. You're completely content even without material things, even without the next best thing. It's like the next car comes out, the next phone comes out, the next game comes out, the next system comes out, whatever. I'm hearing a Fender Stratocaster. I don't know. If somebody just bought a Fender Stratocaster and this is a reward for yourself, do that. Okay? Okay. You must have done some hard work on something. I don't, I don't know who that's for. But, um, right? The, the, the latest fashion, the latest handbag, the latest... I don't know. You guys would know what I'm talking about. The latest pairs of shoes. Okay? Or the watch or whatever it is. It's like... I got to have the latest. I got to have the latest. That shiny object syndrome. You're trying to keep up with the Joneses. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> okay? But again, don't beat yourself up because I'm feeling some of you are starting to feel guilty now. Please don't do that. I'm not here to make anybody feel guilty. But listen, I've been through this shit. Okay? And I'm being completely honest, right? We all have skeletons in our closet. And I'm so grateful that I get to do those walks, that I get to sit by that lake almost every day now for like at least 30 minutes after my hour walk, that I get to listen to music, that I get to just sit out in my parents' backyard by the pool and just have tea and be at peace. Peace is golden. Do you have that golden ticket? Hmm? Do you have that golden ticket of peace? Okay. Are you really living the good life? If you're feeling empty inside, be careful because some of you, your emotions are getting the best of you. You got to put some mind into this. Get, like, get, it, get it straight. Some of you are making impulsive purchases because you're not emotionally sound. It is Scorpio season. Maybe there's strong Scorpio in your chart. You have strong... You know, or you have poorly aspected Scorpio placements, all right? Again, this is just to help you. Because the Nine of Water, the shadow side of that is also addictions, all right? Materialism. You feel hollow inside, so you're, it, you're spending in excess. You're overdoing it with this spending. And some of you, this is material things that you really don't need be careful because saturn is direct now i mean you don't learn from this start doing the things that really the joy comes from within and has nothing to do with what's outside of yourself if you continue to do that saturn's going to come around and teach you a lesson or two all right but for those people who've been able to balance this out there's something about to shift here You've learned these lessons already. And you have to be honest with where you're at in your situation, okay? Somebody could be, you may have been praying for something. It looks like she's in prayer here if you're looking at this pretty mermaid in this card. She's been praying for her finances to change or she's been praying for some help financially or she's been wishing for something, whatever this is. It could be anything, okay? Maybe some financial help or maybe, you know, working towards help with the business or getting a house or a car or something. But what she's been, God has been testing her or him with is where is your vibration? Because when you're in the nine of cups energy, guys, that's very high vibrational. When you have this true state of bliss and self-fulfillment, 
even when you don't have those things, you're being grateful for what you already have. And you're also already thanking God in advance for the car, for the house, for the change in positive change in finances. You're not being overly, uh, 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 over, you're not being um, overcome by your emotions and you're focusing so, so solely on what those things that bring you that joy really are. And again, some of you, you've been able to do a lot with little money. God sees what your focus is on. God sees where your heart posture is at. And even when you don't have the money for those things, you say, okay, God, I, I pray that I can have the money to have those things. Go on trips, you know, buy the car, whatever, you know, go on a, sh a big shopping spree or something because of your hard work. You know, you're not feeling Debbie Downer about it. You don't feel hollow inside. You don't feel empty because you don't have the money to buy those things. Listen to me. I used to go to Vegas every year when I didn't have my son as a trip for me. I go out lounge in the pool. I'm a night owl. I love going out at night, whatever. This is, wasn't about me gambling. I did do a little bit of gambling and I won some big jackpots and stuff too. But then there was a couple of times I got greedy and I lost it all. I'll be honest with you there too. But I really went because I was stepping out of my comfort zone. I didn't like going out by myself. I didn't like staying at a hotel, eating at a restaurant. I did that for days when I would go there, right? I took myself out to shows, okay? I'll be completely honest. I saw a, a female, you know, strip show and people looked at me funny, but I had the greatest time. Sure, I bought a ticket and stuff, but I wasn't buying going shopping in Vegas. I did buy like my first um, uh, spiritual bracelet with hematite and aquamarine when I went on my first trip there, you know, things like that. I didn't go there to go gamble. I didn't go there to go splurge on everything that I had. I went there to enjoy myself. I saw all these amazing shows and that was just nine of cups for me. Okay. I gave myself a treat because of what I was going through, what I need to learn for myself. And I also did all these wonderful trips with my son too. I used to travel a whole hell of a lot. And my son used to have a lot of memories, you know, with uh, going on these trips that we did. I can't do that anymore. Not right now. And it's been like that for years. Okay. Because of where I'm at now. And I know what God's doing in my life because he's like, okay, Jess, I know that you don't have the money that you used to have. I know you can't do those things right now. Right. But I'm trying to teach you, you can still find that joy and that happiness with little money. And you're discovering these things that you're going to continue to do that are going to be self-fulfilling. That you're just going to feel this euphoria. And you just it's like basking in the sun. It's just, this is the most beautiful thing ever. And you don't spend a dime on it. Right? And again, I also learned not to feel guilty because of what I did before if I was being a little bit Venus and Libra, indulgent, a little bit of luxury, right? And I'm not talking about going out and buying like an expensive thing, right? Luxury in having the luxury of peace, the luxury of time, the luxury of tranquility. A lot of the collective doesn't think about this. This is what I have had to learn. Okay. So some of you, that's a big lesson for you this week. All right. Um, let's get your Oracle card. But somebody's life is shifting very quickly. It may even start when uh, Venus goes into Libra on Wednesday. And we have the Mars Kazemi coming up next week. Um, it's going to be a really good week for some of you. Because you've been able to master the balancing act in your life. To include your finances. You're no longer getting caught up in shiny object syndrome. You're no longer being sad because you don't have enough money to go do these things. You're doing the things, going back to those things that you've always loved to do. 
And it's funny because they're have they're reminding me of the violin thing. So I gotta go, you know, God willing, stuff will like stabilize because you know sometimes with the two of pentacles it's not fully stable. And I'll start going back to my instrument. I do have to buy a G string for it, no pun intended. Um, because my G string broke. <laughs> So I got to get a G Street from my violin, guys. I don't wear those things, but, you know, I have to go um, go order that string so I can um, add that so I can fully play my violin. But anyway, so, yeah, somebody is getting some really nice things coming in this week, and they're coming in out of nowhere it's coming in real fast you could also have somebody who may be coming in to save the day not that you need saving but god may be sending in help okay it could be a destiny helper and you've been praying and you've been wishing for this and as long because you stayed in alignment with that happiness like agape energy which is the highest frequency that love for yourself and doing what you love to do. Um, you could be calling in somebody very quickly this week to change things up. The nine of cups is also like material wealth and, and, and an abundance of resources coming in magically. And it's coming in super fast. Like you're going to blink and it's going to be magically there. My nine of cups is the genie card. All right. You've made your wishes, but what you did is you did the work to be in alignment with those wishes coming true. You don't feel empty. You don't feel hollow. And you, even when you can't spend money on certain things, you don't feel bad about it. It doesn't destroy your day. Because you say, okay, well, I don't have that. Well, let me go do these things. When you're able to master that, God comes in with things more than what you've wished for. Uh, somebody's going to sweep you off your feet, perhaps. Um, there's a change. There's a transition happening. Somebody's no longer being wishy-washy, indecisive. Maybe some of you have a hard time choosing on what to spend, or you have a hard time choosing yourself, or choosing doing the things that have nothing to do with money or tangible things to bring you happiness. But there's somebody here. I this. I'm now. I'm getting an energy of. Um, you can go with this, or you can go with that. You can go with this, or you can go with that. I forget who raps that song, but anyway, this two of pentacles has been coming up a lot for my members and my other readings. I mean, this is not going away, guys. So this is a big thing for some of you. There's somebody here who has been wanting to do something, and they pull out. No pun intended wanting to reach out and then getting cold feet, right? Wanting to make an offer and then say, no, I don't want to make the offer yet. I don't want to make, I don't want to communicate. I don't want to do this yet. It's like, I know what I need to do. And it's like, they, they're about to do it. And then they don't do it. That could be you. It could be somebody that you're dealing with, maybe an air sign, but it doesn't have to be. But I guess somebody is laser focused on what they want to do. They're going to follow their joy. You may be their wish fulfillment, which is why I'm getting knight in shining armor energy. Somebody being swept off their feet. So, yeah, somebody being swept off their feet. Um, someone not being afraid to make the change, to make the transition. Because they know once they make this decision, there's no going back. All right? There's no going back when they do this. Someone's trying to make sure that they are level-headed and they are clear in intent and what they want to do. And they're focused on going after what they've been wishing for the entire time, what they've been praying for the entire time. For some of you, this is your person who has you on their mind as their wish fulfillment. And there's communication. And yes, it says messenger. So there is communication for some of you who are always happy no matter what. You're happy without communication. You're happy without having all that money in your bank account. You're happy with everything. No matter what your circumstances look like, that is very difficult to achieve, but is achievable because I've done it. But it takes some work and it takes some crazy ass focus. 
all right? It's not easy, but it is achievable. You can have that balance in your life. So somebody here is coming in. They are dead set. This is go-getter. This is gung-ho. This is, I'm not looking back in the rear view mirror. I'm doing this come hell or high water. I'm nipping it in the bud. I'm going to go reach out. I'm going to make the offer. I'm going to submit the application. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And I'm not going to hesitate. I'm not going to sit there and flip-flop between the options. I know what option I want, and I'm going to go for it. And for somebody here, this is somebody that you're dealing with who it's like they have other options, but you're the only one who's going to bring you true happiness. Again, we don't seek that outside of ourselves. But in order to get to the 10, you got to get to the nine first. Somebody here has already gotten to the nine and they're realizing I want the 10 and they know they will have the 10 with you. And the only thing that's holding them back is the communication, but making a small offer to lead into a bigger one. It's reaching out. All right. So that came out of nowhere as I was shuffling. Wow. Did you see that? Molasses. 26. That might be significant for you. Breaks down to an eight. There was abundance there as I was talking about. To move forward, you must know where you are headed. What's that focus of yours? Right? Do you have that golden ticket? Do you understand the thing that brings you joy that money can't buy? Which is rosaries, the bottom of the deck, 43. I'm hearing somebody here is 43 years old. So this is a big message for you, or 43 significant for you. Craft your skills with intentions repeated, a practice of magic powered by purpose. I did say magic. I'm hearing, um, you can do magic. I think that's by America. I don't know. I could be wrong. I forgot who's saying that song. But let's look at the book to see what those messages are. I looked at 36. That is hilarious, you guys. 36 is very significant for me. I, that, that number shows up millions of times for me every day. Well, I'm exaggerating, but, you know, it shows up a lot. The key words for the molasses energy is stagnation, laziness, lacking motivation. Okay. What did I say about getting laser focused? Your higher self chose this card because molasses represents a period of uncertainty when the path ahead isn't clear. And despite your best efforts, you simply cannot seem to move forward. Standing still is very frustrating, but you're in this period of pause so that you can take some time to get a full understanding of where you actually want to go. This card will often visit you after a period of significant but unintentional action. You may have made many choices in haste of late and are coming to regret some of your decisions. This is why I said impulsive decision-making, trying to make you happy. There's something about buyer's remorse for somebody here. Perhaps you said yes too quickly and now wish to back out or a situation seemed like a worthy gamble, but is now turning out to be a nightmare. It may not seem like it now, but this period of indecision is helping you to slow down, gain perspective be patient and wait for the right opportunity to find you. In the meantime, focus on diving deeper into your spirit. Are there mundane tasks you could focus on while you aren't distracted by other things? The shadow energy, the Nine of Swords, is distracted, scattered energy, not focusing on the things that are really high vibrational. Um, perhaps you might consider a practice such as meditation to take your mind off your current problems. You will find that the stickiness goes away when the time is right for things to move forward again. This card also advises you not to make any hasty decisions right now. Take care of what you need to, of course, but delay any life decisions until more information comes to hand. Hastiness. Rushing energy. Okay. Be careful with that. 43, which is rosary. Focus. Concentration, intention, developing habits, and trust. Your higher self chose this card because it represents the long road to success that guides you to remain focused and intentional. Your situation is not one that will gain immediate results, but is likely to be rewarding with patience and consistent effort. 
The way forward is to be practical, responsible, and committed to mundane tasks that aren't glamorous but do provide security and stability. You will receive this card when you're ready to put in the hard work to see your goal through, although it does remind you to avoid perfectionism. Habits and skills take time to master, so don't take it too personally if you don't get it right at first. See? Don't beat yourself up, guys. I'm not here to chastise you. This is divine guidance. It's, it, it, I'm, I'm the messenger. I'm the mouthpiece. It's coming from up there. Remember that. You may follow instructions step by step and find that still something is off. Remember, you're working towards this, which is why I said don't beat yourself up if you're like, oh, shit, man, I did something and now I feel I feel I regret it. Remember that you can always start from the beginning, retracing your steps until you discover the source of the problem. This card also confirms that you're on the right path and should keep doing what you're doing. You may be frustrated. Again, this is another group, though, because if you're not making impulsive moves, pur purchases or things like that, you're doing what makes you happy without the money thing. This is your message that you got to keep doing what you're doing. Continue to do the things that bring you joy and satisfaction and balancing out your checkbook, your finances, doing, getting the things that are tangible that, you know, that make you happy, but also doing the things that have nothing to do with money that make you happy as well. This card also confirms that you're on the right path and should keep doing what you're doing. You may be frustrated if you're not seeing results, which is why this card has made its way to you. Spirit wants you to know that you have done nothing wrong, but must trust that your work will be rewarded with time. And see, for those of you, you kind of like, I don't want to say you, you made the wrong decision, okay? That's not it, because it's just a lesson to learn, okay? Mistakes are lessons to learn, all right? It's like, stay on the path. Sometimes we will make an erroneous decision. We'll make a hasty decision. And like the other card said, it talked about with the molasses card, Oh, I said yes too quickly. Oh, I got caught up in the sale. Oh, I got caught up in this promotion. That actually happened to me the other day because my phone is having issues, as you guys know, with my audio. And um, it's funny because I got an email that says, you are eligible for an upgrade on your phone. And I was very tempted. And I even looked it up. And, I, and then I, I meditated on it. I said, God, what am I doing? And they said, you know you don't need that. I'm going to tell you how to fix your phone, and God did that. I had to upgrade to the new iOS, and then I did some stuff that they added for the functions for the AirPods that I have, and it, it worked perfectly fine. And I'm like, thank God I didn't do an impulsive move with buying that phone, all right? It's like, I will get the new phone when my iPhone 11 doesn't work anymore or the operating system doesn't function, right? We all know how that goes. As I said, right, like stagnation, it's, it says here, perhaps you said yes too quickly and now wish to back out or a situation seemed like a worthy gamble but is now turning out to be a nightmare. It's like gambling between two options or whatever it is, going back and forth between two things and maybe something you said, Something came in, you made an impulsive decision, now it's like, ah, oh, shit. But again, don't beat yourself up. All right? It's okay if you don't get it right at first. So this is a witch's rosary manifesting chant. It says, this chant is excellent for calling in what you desire. Although affirmations work great as well, and we're going to do affirmations later. It can be done with anything that helps keep you consistent in repetition. Go to a place that is quiet and free of distractions. Nature is always best, but you can choose wherever you prefer. Hold the rosary in your hands and place your fingers on one of the beads. Close your eyes and take a deep breath, then recite an intention or phrase and repeat it for every bead. You can even, you don't even have to, you can pray the regular rosary if you feel like it. I'm hearing the Hallow app, right? Jonathan Ruby. So let's look at, let me get my deck here, my Star Interior Power deck. Um, if you're new, I do have this available for sale. Um, the link to that is in the description box. If you go to capellawellness.com, you can click on the shop section of my website to purchase this deck i also have a divine masculine unspoken words oracle deck if you might be interested in that too if you sign up for a free capella um i'm sorry if you sign up for a paid capella membership even if it's a seven-day free trial 
you will be sent a coupon code um, to get discounts on the decks. So let's see what other guidance we have from the Holy Spirit here. Look, foreseeing creates resistance. I know one of you, if you're watching this, you were in my live on la uh, la Saturday night. That's another huge message for you. Okay, stop forcing things to happen. Stop forcing your happiness too, guys. That's a big message for somebody. Instant gratification. It's not going to work, guys. There's going to be remorse there. You're going to feel, ah, oh, shit, man. I shouldn't have done that. All right? Don't rush it. Don't force it. Take it so. Start working on better habits. This is also for those of you who have little money right now. You may be making impulsive decisions or you may be tempted to go force the issue where, oh, if I get this, I'm going to make more money. If I, if I invest in this, I'm going to make more money. Something about if some of you are, 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 have little in the bank account, you may be trying to force more money to come in. You attract it, guys. You don't push to get it. Stop stressing is at the bottom of the deck. All right. There's no need to stress out about anything. If you have very little money, again, your vibration is everything. You keep wishing, you keep praying, you stay focused on having an elevated vibration, no matter what the hell's going on in your life. Right. Keep happiness in focus. Keep it in the clear. Get, make yourself level-headed. Put laser that into your brain. Don't be forcing the happiness. Don't be expecting, um, you know, something magical to happen out of nowhere when you're not working through the process, when you're not balancing your life out, when you're not learning your lessons, when you're not working on your vibration and your healing and your vitality and you know, your uh, self-care practices. <clears throat> so some of you are so stressed out about something, something's stagnant, something's not working out, something's very slow. But why is 26 staring at me? I heard 260 something. Some of you are like, it's not moving fast enough. I've been praying, I've been wishing and why isn't the wish coming true? Why isn't God doing it? He wants you to keep working through the process. He wants you to work on your vibration to attract it, to attract miracles, all right? He doesn't want you to just get that thing that you're wishing for, like you're wishing for, you know, $1,000, let's say, and you're bummed out because you're not manifesting it. You're not getting the $1,000, but God's like, I want to give you $100,000. Why are you why are you getting bent out of shape because you're not you're not getting the thousand that you wished for. You see what I'm saying? So whatever this is, whatever is not moving, whatever is not uh, uh, picking up speed, stop dressing about it. Stressing about it. Whatever this, a project you're doing, uh, a business, a channel, your money, your whatever this is, stop. Stress lowers your frequency. It gets you out of alignment with the Nine of Cups, guys. It does. No more forcing and no more stressing. That is not in alignment with the Nine of Cups energy. And again, with this rushing energy, there's no need to rush anything. There's no need to be freaking out, especially if this is something with your finances here. But again, you can you if you continue to force, you're going to block the abundance. This requires patience. No rushing. No trying to make this move faster. This needs to hurry up. This needs to hurry up. I need this to go faster. No. When you are rushing, you make more mistakes. You get out of alignment with the highest vibration. You don't cross your T's and dot your I's. You, um, 
you miss the point of what the goal you're trying to achieve. Life passes you by and you're like, oh crap, I left something behind. I didn't see that person needed me. I didn't see this. I didn't see that. I just had this tunnel vision and I just wanted to whatever, whatever. And I just rushed right into it. And now I'm regretting what I did. Just because I wanted something to move faster. It's like hurry up and wait. You can't hurry love. You can't hurry the manifestation of your heart's desires. You can't do that. And look what's after requires patience. Triple eight financial material abundance are coming. And then your thoughts are out of balance regarding financial material matters. You see, you have to be in the vibration a financial and material abundance. But you're going to need to be patient. It's slow for a reason. Because you're being tested to see if you're going to force the issue. Because things aren't moving. Things are stagnant. And you're losing focus on mission. He's a very mission oriented person. Some of you have uh, a mission to help raise people's vibration. You're also realizing to be having a mission on making sure you do what makes you happy. What's at the top? You are ascending. It depends. If, if you are forcing and you're going against what is really um, what you're going against God's will, you're descending in a sense. Or you're just staying on the same ladder, staying on the same rung. All right. You don't need to be doing everything, everywhere, at all hours of the day. Start reassessing what is important in your life. Because if you are running around like a chicken with its head cut off, you are lowering your vibration. All right. And if some of you are thinking that, you know, you're doing work and you're building something, you're creating something, you're wanting money to come in or whatever... And you're thinking that nothing's happening. Again, I got to rush this because I don't see it's moving like molasses. It's like the king of pentacles. I mean, the knight of pentacles, the slowest knight in the deck. Slow and steady wins the race. You need to be accomplished first to be in alignment with those things that you're trying to call in. So you may not think that something is growing. Something is moving forward. Something is elevating. Even with yourself, with your mission work, with you. With your healing, you are making progress. It's just at the pace of turtle, of a turtle. You getting to the level that God's trying to get you to be at is going to take some time. But just know, if you're doing your work, you are ascending. But if you're trying to really what's it called put the pedal to the metal you're totally going to miss the mark and you definitely won't learn your lessons pray more see i did say some of you have been praying god i've been praying i've been praying why isn't anything moving why isn't this happening god wants to see where your happiness really lies all right, let's get your affirmation. No, affirmation is last. I'm going to pull the Your Magic deck. I've had this deck for a very long time. It's one of the first decks that I ever got. These were like inspirational things. I actually used to put this on my um, Instagram. I haven't touched my Instagram in a while, but I haven't really fully been guided. I really need to meditate on that again. I didn't do readings on my Instagram, by the way, because when I started off with this work, I didn't do a YouTube channel. I was doing more self-care stuff, things to raise people's vibration, like happy messages, things to uplift people. Um, I didn't put any tarot there. So let's see. They want me to take it from the top. Great people do things before they are ready. They do things before they know they can do it. Doing what you're afraid of, getting out of your comfort zone, taking risks. That's what life is Amy Poehler. She's funny. Wasn't that Parks and Recreation, right? And some other uh, shows and other movies. 
Great people do things before they are ready. They take the risks. As this says, to move forward, you must know where you are headed, right? But you're headed to a state of self-satisfaction, gratification, contentment, bliss on your own. But you got to do, you got to leave certain things behind, but you got to be focused on understanding what really brings you joy. Okay. What's the bottom of the deck? So many of us choose our path of fear out of fear disguised as practicality. What we really want seems impossibly out of reach and ridiculous to expect. So we never dare to ask the universe for it. I'm saying I'm the proof that you can ask the universe for it. Please, Jim Carrey. Go look up what Jim Carrey did. He wrote himself a million dollar check, I think it was. And he kept it in his wallet for years. And he did what he needed to do. He stepped out of his comfort zone. And now look. He's making, he's made more than a million dollars, right? God gave him more than what he was wishing and hoping for. Because he took the risk. Because he was focused on doing what ultimately lit him up. And sure, the money was there, but he was pursuing the thing that had nothing to do with the money that was giving him the greatest joy. Acting, being comedian, whatever, other things, right? It's right here. You never dare, we never dare to ask the universe for it. You never know, guys. You can't limit yourself. You cannot limit yourself at all. Go big or go home is what I just heard. All right? Like, remember, the golden ticket and Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Look what he got in the end. Remember? Charlie wasn't expecting that. Maybe there's a Charlie here watching this. If your name is Charlie, hello, Charlie. All right. What is the affirmation for the week of November 5th, 2023? Holy Spirit. Archangels, Jesus, Mary Magdalene, Mother Mary, please and thank you. But for somebody here, there is a wish coming true. Again, the astrology calls for it, for it, for it to be a good week this week. Um, especially with Venus going into Libra, there's something that's being activated in the Libra uh, section of your chart for some of you. The, this is for those of you, for your wishes coming true, like something is magically happening and it's happening fucking fast. You won't have to balance out your checkbook anymore because there's something about material is coming. Material needs, like somebody coming in to help or something's coming in. That's if you're not stressing and you're not forcing. That message that I just said is for the people who are not stressing and they're not forcing. Today I am mindful. Today I know deep in my heart and soul that happiness and self-worth are within me. You cannot make it up. Today I am glowing. Today I have huge amounts of energy and focus to take on any challenge that night takes on any challenge. He's so focused on the task at hand. He's not letting anyone get in his way. Nothing can stop the Knight of Swords from his happiness. He goes after the thing that brings him that Nine of Water. Today, I am resourceful. Today, I will turn anything into an opportunity. Today, I am confident. Today, I am who I am, and I am capable of doing anything that I put my mind to. This is freaking Eminem with the Lose Yourself song. Okay, now I gotta write that down. Lose yourself, Eminem. Be confident in yourself. Look at this. Today I am adventurous. Today I will get out of my comfort zone and try something I've never tried before. Go do it, guys. Watch how the universe responds when you step out of your comfort zone. I did get a huge hit that this is also for some people. I'm hearing like a masculine here. This could very well be about like 
this is the fuck it, I'm doing it card. Fuck this shit. I'm not going to be going back and forth anymore. I'm going to come in and go after this with this wish, this thing, this person I've been praying for. And some of you, it is you. And they're just saying, I'm going to communicate. I'm just going to speak my peace. I'm going to stop stressing. I'm going to stop trying to force. I'm going to just do what God has asked me to do and just let things unfold the way they were meant to. I'm going to be adventurous. I'm going to step out of my comfort zone. I'm going to do something I never have done before. I'm going to come in with this bold, brave. This is a brave person, right? Like, I'm gung-ho. I'm doing it. It's done. I'm resourceful. I'm turning anything to an opportunity. I'm being confident. I'm being mindful, right? I'm going after, you know, what ultimately makes me happy. Or again, this person's already happy, but they want the Ten of Cups. All right, they want the Ten of Cups. All right, guys, so that is your message. Your message is for the week of November 5th, 2023. Um, if you want a lot more guidance to help you through the week, you can sign up for a seven-day free trial of one of my Capella memberships. All of the tiers give offer you um, exclusive access to my daily guidance videos and my healing meditation videos that are very, very, very helpful, okay? They have sulfidial frequencies in there. They have sacred geometry and they have breath work all rolled up into one. They're five-minute meditations and some of you need to do some root chakra healing is what I'm hearing because there's something financial that you're still struggling with and that is okay. You're just working on this, all right? So there's that. If you download my free mobile app, you can purchase the memberships. You can book your readings. You can buy the tarot packages. You can upgrade your um, membership if you want to. You can cancel the membership if you want to. You have your own profile. You can see who else is there and connect with people, follow people, be part of the Capella Circle, which is a private chat or... You can even be part of the Capella Crew, which is an open forum. If you download the free app and you sign up to be a free member, you can get free weekly readings and um, you can see what's going on in the Capella Crew Forum. Even some people go and reach out into that free forum, that open forum, if you need guidance, if you need prayers, if you need wisdom, if you need you know, you're stressing about something and you want some, some, some guidance from a soul tribe, you can go to my app and chime in in the Capella Crew Forum or the Capella Circle Forum, depending on what membership you have, and, you know, get some assistance there, right? For free. Like, other people are going to come in and chime in and say, hey, I've been through this. This is what I did. This is, you know, what maybe you should try to do. Um, so all of that stuff is in the description box. If you go to capellawellness.com, you'll see the header menus, and you can click on whatever it is that you're interested in. Um, again, the shop is there if you're interested in the my self-care deck, which is this is what this is. It does have a bonus card in there. <clears throat> There's something magical that happens when two cards come out a certain way. Um, so if you get that combination, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It could be very well what this is. Um, yeah, so if you have any questions about anything, please don't hesitate to ask me. And yeah, join the family. I would love to have you on the app or even, you know, be part of the family here on YouTube. All right, guys, thank you so much for you watching this video, for subscribing to this channel if you haven't already, and for illuminating that thumbs up button. I would greatly appreciate it. I wish you the best today. And always, I send you so, so much love. And I hope I illuminated your well being today. Again, this is Jess from Capella Wellness, starring out.